we just got a really big Zoom update. So if you haven't yet, make sure to update your Zoom, but I wanna talk about the best new feature in Zoom and how you can use it in your classroom. In fact, I'm gonna show you three ways to use this feature starting today in your classroom. So the best new feature in the Zoom update has to do with allowing participants or students to choose their own breakout room and actually bounce between them and the main room as they wish. Now there's a lot you can do with this, but a couple things to get it started. One, make sure you've upgraded Zoom. And two, the big hiccup here that could throw a big monkey wrench in this is your students have to have updated their Zoom as well. If their Zoom is not updated, it will not give them the functionality to jump between rooms and they will not have the ability to do everything that I'm about to show you in this video. So tell your students to update Zoom. And then on your end, what you're going to do in order to facilitate everything I'm about to show you is you're going to go down here to breakout rooms. When you click breakout rooms, what you're going to see on your screen is that you can assign them automatically, you can assign them manually, or you could let participants choose the room. Now this is the option you're gonna to wanna to select for everything I'm about to show you. And then you could create the number of breakout rooms you would like and hit create. The next great thing about this update is once you are here, you can rename your rooms. So you can rename it to whatever you want. So maybe this will be for an option I'm about to show you, maybe this will be group one. Maybe this one here will be group two. And this one, group three. So pretty straightforward there, but you could change these group names however you want, and you can change them each time you open it. Then you open the rooms and you are good to go, inviting all the participants to the breakout rooms. And this now allows students or anyone who's in my presentation to bounce around as they want. So here we are in our main Zoom room and I wanna just show you a visual of how this works. Since I can't show you with actual students, we're going to use these nice on-screen graphics. So we are in our main Zoom room. We have our 12 students right down here and we have our breakout rooms right over there. You can see that there's three breakout rooms. The first idea of what you can do with this new feature is instead of trying to go through the headache of developing pre-assigned breakout rooms, which requires students to assign in with a very specific account and require a lot of work on your end, why not just allow them to go to the right room? Now you can do that with setting it up exactly how I showed you just a few moments ago, but you set it up, you have your three rooms, and then what you do is just send them to their rooms. Now students, they can choose and they can go over to any of these rooms that they would like and they just join their groups. So you've assigned them their groups and they go do it. It's as easy as that. So that's the first thing that I wanted to show you that you can do with this new feature. Okay, let's come back to the main room. All the students are back in. working from home, am I right? Now that we are in the main breakout room again, the next thing I want to show you is a self-selection in terms of a response. This is a way to recreate an in-class type activity where you would have students actually physically move to different areas of the room based on their response to a prompt you give them. So in this case, you'd want to rename your rooms to fit whatever prompt you're going to try to give them. In this case, I'm going to give an example of agree, neutral, or disagree, and show you what's possible. So you go ahead, you create these prompts, and now you have an agree room, an unsure room, and a disagree room, and then you allow students to self-select into them. You can let them have a conversation, talk with others, or maybe you have them consider 
another prompt after their initial response and then allow them to move to a new response. That's one of the really cool, powerful ways about letting students move between rooms as they want is they can move back and forth between these different rooms based on how they're feeling about a prompt you've given them. You can also do something like changing these rooms instead of agree and unsure and disagree. You could also see things like option A, option B, or option C to gauge interest and see who votes for what easily by having people go and discuss. You can also do things like different topics. Maybe you want to give students the chance to discuss different topics of interest that all relate to the main point of what you're teaching. Well, you could name these rooms based off these topics and have them explore or watch certain videos or read specific articles depending on which room they're in. So a lot of cool features here with this self-select type activity that you can recreate in a Zoom session. All right, so the third and final thing that I want to encourage you to try with this new feature on Zoom is actually recreating another in-class activity of poster presentations where students would circulate around a room and listen to each other give a presentation on a topic. So what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to rename these rooms to specific presentations and have those presenters move into those rooms. So now the presenters are in their rooms, they're all set up, and if you enable screen sharing, what you can do is allow those presenters to have their screen ready. In fact, you can encourage them and show them how to use PowerPoint as their background so that they can give their presentation in their room or bounce through slides, which is a really powerful little way to do this. Now, once students are into their assigned presentation rooms, you allow the rest of the class to go to whatever one interests them. So students can go there and maybe you give them 10 minutes each, in each room and ask them to move to another one. And you can even join into a specific room as well to watch the presentation. And then you switch and everyone goes to another room. And then you can do that one more time to get through all three and then come back to the main session and then maybe you have your next group of three students go so you assign them the new presenters to their new rooms and then you go back through the process again so hopefully this gave you ideas of how to use the new breakout room self-select feature in zoom i would love it if in the comments below you let me know how you plan to use this and i would love it if you liked this video subscribe to the channel and if you are a passionate educator looking to design innovative and inclusive classroom experiences join us on the epic higher ed facebook group just search it and ask to join otherwise check us out at epichighered.com where i have workshops and all sorts of other resources coming to help compassionate instructors like you to further improve higher ed thanks so much for watching we'll see you in the next video